What's up everybody and welcome back to the daily vlog and today we are gonna go somewhere with our neighbors because they said well we know a few cool places that you might want to check out but also today we're gonna meet up with one of my friends hopefully that left Russia from mobilization and he went to Greece and after his visa expired yesterday he came over to the town I'm living in myself. So we're probably gonna meet each other and we haven't seen each other for a few years now. So that's gonna be quite awesome as well. The most important part of the day is taking out the trash and warming up the Cadillac. So we are gonna go to a cave which is five million years old. Could you imagine that? Five million years old cave. That's crazy. Anyways, we're gonna be driving down there right now. Well, we are. 37 minutes to go and look at this beautiful view of the seaside. <laughs> like the last time it seems like there was a normal road back there but I had to choose the flipping one that you have to go off-road Wow guys check out the view from here check this out damn look you could see all the banana fields and everything around the place how cool is that anyways the cave is down there so let's get to the five million years old cave so we have arrived let's get going check out this cafe it's like stands on those pillars that's quite cool here's the cave the entrance and you go around like this five million years old stalagmites merhaba patron how are you i'm fine with you where can we buy tickets to go uh, to the cave? Ticket, uh, one people to Antirira. Yeah, can we buy here? Uh -huh, yes. Oh, Patron. Nice cafe you got here. Yeah. Is it possible to pay by card? Yeah. Anyways, guys, while I'm waiting for the guy, check this out. This feels really weird standing right here. But check out the view out of this balcony right here. Wow, very cool. It feels like, you know, it's good. <laughs> so in 1950, half of the cave like broke down. So now there's only 450 meters we can go down. So this is how it looks like. We're going down to the cave. Now, whoever made those stairs is an absolute knob end. Why would you put this in the middle? Like there's barely any space to walk. Let's explore. Wow, look at this. A little cave inside a cave. Wow, there is, there is a uh, flying, what, what you call it, bats, there's bats up here. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, there's a bunch of bats in Turkey and there's bats right here. And you could see that there's a tunnel to go down there. I can't believe this is the only like part. This is the end of the tunnel. Now the tunnel beside the hotel that I used to stay was way better. I don't know, this is just... Me and Evelyn are climbing up. Just chilling on the top. But yeah, this is a cool place, but it could have been way cooler, to be honest with you. Nothing too spectacular here. So guys, this is definitely a tourist trap because literally, this is like the worst cave I've ever been to in my life. I mean, it literally ends right here. 
well, what's the point of this? I don't know. I mean, there's not even a lot of stalactites here or stalagmites. This is just not worth it. Don't come to this cave because another day or I don't know when that part was actually open and people could go in. You could see like a bit of wiring and stuff, but now it's closed off. You could definitely go on the side, but you're probably going to get in a lot of trouble. And I do not want to get in trouble at all. So, you know what? We thought, fuck this, we're gonna go inside. Let's flip in. No, yeah, but there's humongous spiders I'm getting in. <laughs> oh my god, I'm afraid. This is flipping scary, guys. <laughs> wow, this is all breaking under me. This is definitely will break under me if we go down. But it sucks that I didn't bring my light with me. You could have really saw some cool things. You could kind of see that the cave is actually quite big. I don't know. But there's not that much stalactites or stalagmites around here. But yeah, one day there were people sitting here enjoying the views of the cave. And now we're gonna go back because it's absolutely boiling here and it smells like mold. Probably gonna die. Like this shit. All of those are nearly falling under me. We could see some trespassers as well walking down here. Because everybody paid money and you could see the two lights coming up there. People paid money so they have to go up here. But I'm not even bothered going down anymore because first of all, the metal is rusted away. Second of all, this cave is crap. Anyways, this is quite cool. Flipping out. The people that came down here also want to go up, so I guess we're gonna go up. This is all mold. Holy shit, look at this. my life but this is for you guys <laughs> this is Indiana type of shit going on here Indiana Jones where's the treasures I wish I brought my light with me I don't know why I didn't but there's the amount of Bats here is crazy. Very slippery here as well and very, very humid. I can kind of show you what's happening here. Finally, everybody is headed back because we came to the part where in 1950s, a piece of the cave like fell down. And now we're going back. Hopefully we're not gonna get in trouble with the local authorities after this. But we didn't see any cameras. And this is, don't do this at home kids. Don't climb into a cave which is closed off. You could die here. But you could see the stalactites here. This is some Bear grills type of stuff. Gotta drink my own piss to survive in this flipping cave. This stairs rusted to bits, look. Flipping out. You really have 
to climb under this cave. It's so narrow here. I'm literally crouched down. the dangerous part. Now let's get the heck out of here. Yes. Oh, that was crazy. So guys, we're alive, safe, and now we're walking out through the stalactites and the stalagmites and I'm absolutely boiling. I wanna get out of here and breathe a bit of fresh air. Now, who does something like this? Show me a daily vlogger that walks into a cave that's closed off. Might as well press the like button for this. Oh, breath of fresh air, nothing can be better. And also those beautiful views right behind me. Check this out, damn. Awesome. This definitely looks sketchy to me. So our exploration spirits did not end at the cave. We came to an ancient Roman city, village, whatever. But first I need to take my jacket out of the car. So we're in the ancient Roman city of Antiochia. Look at this. They always had beautiful views over the Mediterranean Sea. Anyways, let's go and check out the Roman ruins and maybe we'll be able to find a mosaic of sorts. And hopefully it's not gonna start raining because the weather right now is not the best. Anyways, this city was built like 300 years before our times. And look at this. Was this a bath? Was this a, a Roman swimming pool? What was this? Look at this, a Roman swimming pool. Imagine a bunch of Romans were swimming back in the day, you know, having a bit of jacuzzi. It's a pretty cool swimming pool. If you ask me, I mean, no, most people don't have a swimming pool nowadays. And you, are, you look at an ancient city and there's a flipping swimming pool. This is absolutely wild and now we are entering an old building that i have no idea what it is but we're in a roman building you could see from here there was a window looking down here into the woods and if we walk down here we see a very nice balcony over here of the little amphitheater that looks like a little little private amphitheater let's go check it out let's walk through this roman walkway right here and look at this we came to an ancient private you know nowadays we have private cinemas and stuff like that the lads that lived here they had a flipping private amphitheater look at this because this is 100 percent an old amphitheater if you ask me i mean look you would have like the seats here you would have somebody you know doing some sort of an amphitheater things this is how it looks like absolutely beautiful beautiful my okay how the heck do i get out of here we need to walk back over to the roman gaff and check out the rest of the properties of the roman empire Imagine if some Roman lad, an Italian lad, would come up right here, right now, and said, this is my gaff now. Would they give it back to him? So guys, I thought I should feel like a Roman person. So right now, I'm gonna go in the swimming pool. Ugh. So right now, I'm standing in a Roman swimming pool. They'd be swimming around the place right here, chilling out. Imagine this, a Roman swimming pool. Where are you going to see that? So guys, as you can see right here, they're doing some sort of digging out of the place. So they're digging out some cool Roman stuff. 
so what amazes me the most is you'd be walking around seeing ground like this and you would see some dig out right here and they dug out some sort of a roman thing right here this is how amazing turkey is you dig anywhere and you find history like literally right here look something is being dug out here you could see some roman pillars stuck in the ground wow this is cool it's just history lying around like this wow and you could see some sort of a building right there wow guys if you don't say this is cool i don't know what is you could see a piece of roman building part right here and you could see the engravement right here interesting interesting where's the roman coins where is it i feel a roman coin is close to me you could see somebody was trying to find a roman coin right there oh guys check this out wow walking into the gaff look at this holy smokes holy smokes this is cool wow imagine living here and having this sort of view right here there is also some sort of a castle type of building right there if you could kind of see it maybe we'll make it up there I don't know but it seems awesome anyways what I wanted to show you is look at this walkway look at this isn't this flipping cool this is like a cool walkway into the building wow and you'd have the window right here you could be looking right here look at this view wow absolutely awesome wow check this out guys look at this this is cool pillars are still standing here and imagine those pillars you could touch them wow they're so smooth as well wild absolutely wild wow found some sort of a, a roman cave i don't know what this was maybe a prison or something like that i don't know let's check it out wow this is interesting look at this wow <laughs> this is absolutely wild the history of this place is crazy imagine this is like 500 years before our times this all So, I have driven in my car through, I had to charge my phone. We had to drive through crazy roads, down from that mountain on little roads like this. First of all, look at that place right there. It's absolutely beautiful. And on top of this place is actually a castle. Well, there's no way we're gonna go up on that castle because there's there is a way to go up there which is literally climb up the mountain the biggest problem is it looks like it's gonna start raining so we're not gonna risk climbing up there but you could see all the banana plantations right there After all the mad explorations, we came 
to the right place to eat, which is called Matryoshka, where we eat most of the times anyways, because it has some Russian food, and we do like Russian food. Feels like home here. We haven't eaten anything since the morning, so we ate breakfast and started exploring, so I'm having myself some meatballs, mashed potatoes, and some sauce, and Evelyn is having borscht, and she's also gonna have pilmenis. Anyways, I've tried this many times, so I'll just do it for you boys, a bit of mashed potato. Awesome as always. And meatballs. Evelyn is starving. She was like, my stomach is eating itself. Oh well, that's what happens when you don't eat all day, right? <laughs> Elena definitely did not like. Let me try. Oh, it's normal. It's not bad. It's not the best, but it's fine. Did I? I'm at a gas station right now, and the fuel was at like 28 lira or something like that, and now it's 1775. That's what the sign said, and I'm wondering, is that right or not? Oh. Patron, <laughs> how much is benzene? Benzene is one liter, one liter. 17, it was 20 like... Um, discount. Discount? Yeah, oh. two, two, two liter discount. Is it only today discount? No, no, every day. Oh, really? Yes. Why? I don't know. Wow. Okay, um, I will do full. Full? <laughs> With that price, full. <laughs> Party time. <laughs> wow. And I pay by card. Okay, thank you. Wow. The price went down by like so many liras. That's crazy. So I'm actually surprised because in Russia, usually the price of fuel at gas station never goes down. And yesterday I filled up my car for a few dollars for like 20 liras per liter or something like that. And today I look at the gas station, it says 17. So I'll, I'll tell you the price right here. So the 20 liter is right here, the price that was yesterday and the 17 right here, wild. But you know what? Since the price went down so greatly and you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow, I filled up the full tank of fuel because it's way cheaper now. Hopefully it doesn't go to like 10 lira tomorrow because then I uh, should have uh, filled it up fully tomorrow. But anyways, that's it. Anyways, we're gonna go back home now and that's pretty much it for today's video. Now, if you enjoyed the video, you might as well press the like button, subscribe and comment in the comment section below. See you later, guys.